Parents on Reddit. What was your eye raised in idiot moment? My dad's moment was when I made him drive around with me because my car had been making a thunk noise every time I made a turn. After 15 minutes he announced it was the baseball bat in my trunk rolling around. Edit. My revenge 20 years later was helping him figure out the rattle in his car. It was his sunglasses he put in his built-in sunglass holder. He knew there was a frozen pizza in the garage but couldn't find it. Didn't even think to check the freezer. When my son was disappointed by sex ed class. He thought they were going to learn some moves. I had my sister text my mom that she forgot her phone at home. My 13 year old son was sniffing really hard and moving his head all around the area he was standing in. Slightly concerned he had lost his mind. I asked him what he was doing. He told me. I farted. I'm trying to smell it all up. So you don't have to smell it. He's a thoughtful idiot. I heard a noise in my kitchen and I went in there and there was flour all over the floor and all over my kid. And he was like not me. But I think it probably was him. We need to leave. Sent him to put on socks. Waited more than enough. Go find him. He's in his room. Wearing only underwear. Playing with Legos. He can't remember what I sent him after. When the Peter Pan peanut butter recall happened 10-12 years ago or so, due to salmonella, my then 15 year old daughter came in from school and as she was walking past the living room, TV was on. She stopped and watched the news report about the salmonella outbreak. She got this aha light bulb moment and said, Oh. Now I get it. It's about peanut butter. All day at school I kept hearing Peter Pan was killing people around the country and I thought he had turned bad or something and was now a villain. I just stared at her waiting for her to say she was joking and didn't really think Peter Pan was real. But no. She just went upstairs to her room like we just had a normal conversation about normal. Everyday events. I'm the idiot. I registered for college and spelled my middle name wrong but didn't notice for 4 years since they always abbreviated to my initial. I was showing my parents my diploma before walking on graduation day and my mom just stared at me like I was special. Bonus points I actually thought that was how it was spelled. Definitely not an idiot. But I love this story about my kid. I used to pay the guy who took care of the yard for me by writing a check. Putting it in a baggie. And sticking it under the mat. One weekend I was on the phone while writing the check. So I asked my son to put the check in the baggie under the mat for me. I went on with the conversation and forgot about it. A few days later. The guy who takes care of the lawn calls me up and says he looked everywhere but can't find the check. While we are talking. I open the door and lift up the mat. And no check. He says. You are really great customers. So I was surprised that the check wasn't there. I was surprised too. I look around. Behind bushes. Under a decoration. No check. Then. I try to think like my son. I look under the mat inside the front door. And there's the check. We still laugh about it. When they mistook a leaky radiator hose for smoke. No problem it kind of looks the same. They continued to drive the car home thinking it was on fire then. Pulled it into the garage that is attached to the house. My brother couldn't remember the proper name for shoes so he called them foot houses. Mum confirmed that day that at least one of her teenage children was a bit doughy up top. I don't think he's an idiot but I think he lacks common sense because he'll take a bite of food. It will be scalding hot. He'll cry and act like he's dying. But won't spit it out. He'll say mommy it's hot and I'll say well I told you to wait for it to cool down. Or then blow on it or something to that effect. He will say no. And then continue taking scalding hot bites and crying that it's too hot. In his defense his father's the same way. At age 15. At the market. She was asked to get a large chicken. And she came back with a turkey. When I asked her to return the turkey and get a large chicken. She revealed that she thought that turkeys were literally adult chickens. And that chickens were young turkeys. As parents we try to teach our kids everything they need to know. But it's hard to see the gaps sometimes. My cousin got busted with weed at school in her locker. When the cops came she said I wasn't going to smoke it. I just sell it face palm. 
my 14 years old soon went into a dressing room to try on 5 pairs of pants. After waiting 15 minutes and yelling twice into the men's dressing room to see if was okay. He admitted he could find the shorts he had worn in. He gave me 3 pairs of the pants and still couldn't find them. I finally had to go into the stall to look. They were balled up in the leg of one of the pair of pants. It was extremely noticeable. He swore he took his shorts off before trying on any of the pants so he didn't think to look in them. I was speechless. He's in the gifted and talented program in our school district. When one of my daughters tries to insult the other by telling her how ugly she is. They are identical twins. My son came to our house to visit. He didn't live with us. We weren't home but we on our way home so he let himself in. We walk in and he's freaking out about breaking our newly adopted cat or something to that effect. I asked him what was she doing. She looked fine to me. He said she was vibrating when she sat on his lap. This is where he learned about cats purring. He hadn't been around a lot of cats so idk. A few weeks ago my son decided to use the lip of the tub to walk on while he was taking a shower. After he slipped the first time. He decided that he was going to be very very careful when walking on the lip of the tub from then on. 3 year old is preparing for his bath. His underwear looks strange but I'm distracted his brother. Kid takes off one pair of underwear. Then a second pair. Then a third. I ask why he is wearing 3 pairs of underwear. Kid looks at me like I'm an idiot. Mom told me to put on a clean pair every day. That non-autistic kid grew up to place the highest in math in our large midwestern city. But even in his 20s you have to make sure you give clear instructions as he will follow rules to the letter. When they act just like me. This is my mom's moment. Growing up. My mom had one of those cabinet mirrors. And she always put stuff in the middle section. Which I found annoying because you couldn't get to it. So one day. I have a brilliant thought. What if the middle section opened? Obviously. It did. Feeling like an idiot. I went to tell my birthday and sister. They both stared at me. Then said. In unison. It opens. We'd all been annoyed for years by that middle section. And none of us had realized it opened. We were 21. 19. And 16 when we figured it out. We told me my mom when she got home. She stared at us. Said my children are morons. And left the room. My friend, African American male, has a son who asked him. Do white people poop white poop? Because we brown people poop brown poop. When I saw a video of her riding an alligator. Not my kid. But my aunt gave my mom this look when we found out my 12 year old cousin thought Germany was on the other side of the world. As an Austrian. My mother called me in tears from laughing and told me that my sister, 5 years younger than me, probably 16 at this time, had just asked her. I know this might be a silly question. But what's Britude? My mom is like. My sister thought that the brought to you by. Message when watching TV was Britude. One word. And she had wondered about it for her whole life pretty much. Well my kid is currently walking into the wall and crying because it hurts. But he's wearing a life jacket so it's okay. When I asked my 14 year if she could please bring me a piece of cake. She cut it. Forgot why. Then ate it. Not a parent. But when I was younger I stuck my finger in a moving treadmill. Ask my mom. She said when we were at a business picnic in the park and someone turned to me and said hey Pam. Is that your son naked on the slide? My son A to B he's 13. I used to tell my kids not to take off their shoes and socks in the car. Especially on short trips. Just leave them on so that we don't have to spend 5 minutes finding and putting them back on before we run into the store. Imagine a single dad with two young kids running around the car trying to reshoe my children in the grocery store parking lot in the middle of an Arizona summer. Yuck. One day we went to the store and my daughter was missing her shoe. It was nowhere to be found. Double quote. Daddy. I didn't want you to be mad that my shoe was off so I threw it out the window. Made sense to 5 year old I guess. Not my story but my granddad's from a few decades ago. One day when my uncle was about 10. 
he heard from somewhere that babies float and for whatever reason this really interested him. Like 3 days later. My granddad was reading the newspaper in their living room and he hears my uncle yelling out dad. Dad. Dad from the backyard. My granddad walks out and sees my uncle standing right beside their pool. Holding my aunt, who was about 1 year old at the time and was also in her crib about 15 minutes before. The thought of my 10 year old uncle picking his baby sister out of her crib to do this cracks my family up. Immediately my uncle then shouts dad. Did you know babies float and proceeds to toss my 1 year old aunt into the swimming pool. My aunt started to sink and my granddad had to sprint over to the pool and jump in before she drowned. That day. My uncle learned that babies do not float.